Okay, so, the other guys, it's me, Gaming Star here, and today I am back in our episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we had basically done re part of the Champion's Ballad, Rivali's part. And this time, we're going to go ahead and do Urbosa's part. So. So, if Urbosa's part. I'm going to do that part, because it feels so necessary. Savka, what's wrong? You're so weird about safety this town? <laughs> or have you come comfortable with the loop? Whatever the cost may be, you need else to so you can notice. That being said, nice all of you drop back. Please mm -hmm. see. You anything? Tell me about Arbosa. Oh. You wish to speak with Lady Arbosa? I wanted to say request. After the board's tame, we located Lady Arbosa's diary. Since you're here, I should tell you something of it. Lady Arbosa had a beloved wolf. Why does everyone have a diary? I never had a diary. <laughs> she had found the world of Queen of Hyrule. Such a big heart. Lady Arbosa was a real with a respect. Arbosa's diary. Lady Arbosa's diary is in my room, so she trusted you. I'm certain she wouldn't mind reading it. Is that anything else you Uh, the treasure orb. Huh? You're referring to the treasure of the Gruda. The sacred orb kept safe for people for generations. Like, answer it truly. Are you challenging the same child that Lady Arbosa became all those years ago? In that case, I should not keep this a secret from you. Our treasure orb is stolen. You had another massive failure, as though the incident with the Thunderhelm was humiliating enough. On top of it all, off the ones who stole our Yiga clan again. Luckily, the first known assassin full of Valeria is now. I have members to try to know. Like, will you be willing to help us recover it? In return, he gives the treasure orb to have you complete the trial. Perhaps this fate the orb was made to be used to travail your trial. You're challenging, which you're finding it. Sorry to burden you with my troubles again, but I'm counting on you. Mm. And the problem with the treasure is never later. It's fun. It's meant to be envy and leave certain people's happiness. Oh. The treasure orb. No, hey, not about that. My apologies. There's my losing my temper with you. Treasure of my people. Sacred Orb does guard of the generations are gone. Other approach stolen by Niga clan. Those fiends are fighting wiped out. I heard rumors of regrouping their base. Only the very of you and myself know about the Orb of Stone. Don't speak of this to anyone. Champion's arms. The Jersey vessel didn't let me do it. Where's the chief? The chief is sitting right here. He's like, can I see her? <laughs> so, let's go over to read the diary. Chief's Diary. Diary of Makala Riju, Chief of the Grudo. First page. Valeria told me today the mother has passed away and gone in a better place. She said my mother's death means now the Chief of the Grudo people. I wish she stayed here now. I don't see how it could be a better place if it's apart. Ever since I became the Chief, the people in town have been a lot nicer to me. But I look, if I look carefully, I can still see the worries in her eyes. It seems more common than when my mother was Chief. My mother, will I ever be as great as Chief as you were? The divine beast Vandaboris, which supposedly has been sleeping in the desert, has suddenly woken up. Mother told me that Vandaboris is deity of protection to Grudo people. It doesn't seem that way. I plan to investigate more tomorrow. I have to find out more. Having investigated the divine beast Vandaboris, I can say I come to Grudo town will be helpless. When I drew close, I using my wonderful sand seal Patricia. I was driven to sit back by the sandstorm and lightning. I turned Patricia toward home, but I must have spoke there and she fled directly towards the boys again. Next thing I remember, Valeria standing over Bularia, standing over her face full of worry. Ever since I went to investigate the Divine Beast, Bolivia has been appointed never to be my side. Even now, she's a valuable heroine stone by thief, refuses to tear herself away from me even a moment. She takes all the blame for the theft. However, nothing can change for my body responsible. Meanwhile, I cannot but feel that the theft happened because I'm not yet ready to be chief. The soldiers are tirelessly trying to recover the heirloom. No one says to worry about their leadership. They're thinking about how powerless the chief was proven to be. Thanks to the tireless efforts of my soldiers, we located the thieves hideout. Definitely aren't common criminals, though. We haven't been able to get anywhere near close to the place. To think that the Thunder Helm is right there, you can't take it back. Late mother, Lady Arbosa, please give me your guidance. My prayers were answered. One of the champions of old has appeared. Valeria's Bel where he proved himself by taking the heirloom back to the thieves of Queen Boris. She now seems to trust his abilities. She even seems not to mind that he is a vow. She's like some serious always in the book, but I'm surprised she's okay with him. He has returned to us to see if he has need my family here in the Thunderhelm. I want to simply lend him if I have the father, but it's a great advisor to some people. I could have been him. So I asked him to help with the minor problems probably in the town. It's funny. I used to spend a lot of time worrying about my people and ability to lead. Now I look forward to each and every day. I think it's your help with that. Maybe one day I can compete in the Sand Seal. He and I could be a Sand Seal race. I'd enjoy that. Oh, that's just a big Sand Seal. It's kind of adorable. What's the same Grudo? I genuinely wonder about that. But yeah, see what we can do. Hmm. So let's kind of check out the pictures of the next locations. Alright. So one of them is actually pretty close to in between the um the ruins. 
so like let me see so like right around here so like right around here essentially best way to go over here <laughs> So let me, uh... It's like right around this area. Yeah, it's like right here. There's no sand seal, so we're just gonna, just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. Like, yeah, there's gonna be- we have to fight- I believe this is when we're gonna have to fight the Mulduga or something. like over here. Boo! Try see. Is this? Could it be? You're a pretty gal I saw in Grudo Town? Eh, don't try to hide it. It doesn't matter what you wear. Those eyes, all. Oh. Tracy wasn't born yesterday, after all. How do you know I was- how do you know I was that? Oh, I see, I see. It's because only woman can enter Grudo Town. Clever boy. That's quite a scoop, but I wasn't sure the reason, so I'll keep the gossip to myself. That's called integrity. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Probably guess as much I'm checking out some juicy gossip. Since you're here, I'll do you a favor. We haven't even published yet. It's funny. You can relax. When Divine Beast has settled the lightning and stuff, boom, Mysterious Mulduga shows up. What is this? Apparently, the Gerudo soldier tried to find a normal sword didn't even have a dent. When his weapon work or something like that? So we have the Muldu King. Hmm? Here we go. Good 
Cowboy. Damn. All right. Looks like Thunder really, really hits the spot on this one. Whoa! How did I get lucky? Yeah, Thunder is really effective on this. Look how much damage it does. <laughs> Woo! I flew into the distance. All right, let me heal myself. I'm gonna die. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Woo! That felt good. My phone! <laughs> I fell into the chair. Okay. Woo! That's the Mulduga. Or the Muldu King. So, like, when you use thunder weapons, it actually does more damage than it before. What do we got in here? Grab the... What about in here? Yep. Radiant shield. What about in here? Radiant shield. Let's start this one. First, the trial. First run. All right, big or small?
Oh, we'll figure it out. Then as for this one. We're gonna need something. gonna do this one so there's this and then there's this point right here so we're gonna have to do something with the, with the block I have an idea with this block like maybe we could just do it I don't think that's gonna work Yeah, we're gonna need that to stay. This. So about this, I think I'll do this. Thing is, is the um, is that one? That's the major problem. That's the major problem. It's that. It's that part right there. How are we gonna do this? 
That's the big problem, is how are we gonna do that? Like, we need, like, something. Like, a ball or something to move that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is where I'm gonna struggle. Big or small? Sorry, we didn't hit that, yep. That's moved. That moved. That's fine. The problem is this. This is the problem. It's this. That's the problem. So it looks like it does work. Duh, it looks like I did align it, right? So the answer is yes, I did align it, right? The answer is yes, I did align it correctly. I did align it right, though. What this? Yeah, this is awkward. Oh, sweet god. Ah! Okay, I got it now. Alright, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, I figured it out. Woo! Figured it out. After some thinking, I got it. And this one is up open too. Perfect. Damn, took me a while, but I got it. Another shield? Okay, you know what? Alright, alright, alright. All right, I got it! God! Man. What a pain. The Boris emblem. 
Nice. God damn, what a pain. <laughs> Two remain. So we got two more left. Let's see what the other two are. Alright, so our next one's actually be pretty close to um actually pretty close to, to the Griddle Town. It's actually pretty close. So we're gonna need a sand seal. So if you look at the image, yeah, like over here, yeah, like right around here. The roof protection is now ready to roll. Oh, there it is. Yep, I see it. Alright, there's the ring. Let's go. Let's get this trial. Done and dusted. And I just realized I have to fight Thunder Blight Ganon again. Or I can just go over there and get the sand seal, but never mind. I guess it's better to just go over here. Oh well. It works. Oh well. Never mind. Never mind. For what it is, it works. <laughs> if you if you want, you can just go over there and get the sand seal yourself, but I did this over here. <gasps> oh, hi. Don't you dare, I swear to God. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. I believe. Alright. You can do it. Up oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 that enemy was gonna hit me right in the face. It was so close to it. Like, it was so close.
part, dual purpose. Oh, boy. Okay, what about here? Give me the chest. What is in here? Not bad. Ooh, all right. Final trial. Let's get the final trial of the the rest out of the way. And I'm gonna need my notebook <laughs> for a reason, for a future reference if I ever replay this game. Isn't it a playthrough? All right. One more emblem, then we got it. One remains. So we have to go back to Yiga Clan Hido. That's gonna be our next one. Back to Yiga Clan Haida, huh? Shall we? Oh, shit. Okay, so our next one. Back to your clan hideout. <laughs> yeah, back over there. So we're gonna have to grab the orb. And uh, we have to grab the orb back from the Yigo because they took it from us. So let's go back there.
So we're back here in the Yiga Clan hideout. Let's go back. Huh, what are you doing here? Yeah. If you guys get a swordsman yet, yeah. just stole off a lot of them around. They seem to hoarding bananas too. They're just still up to no good. The only thing I know for sure is the orb they stole from the Grudo tribe is there in the second floor oh. storage room. Second floor storage. But getting nurse too dangerous, staying alive, essentially we're getting a treasure hunter. Oh. Remember for treasure too. The Yiga clan they took one of Grudo's tribes just for the sake of an orb or something. Looked like it could sell for a high price, but I followed them that well. I think I could probably get back. Well, wait, I don't think they're planning on throwing the orb into a big gaping hole. Legends say, right? And we're back. So, second floor storage. Man, that's a lot of bananas. Okay. There it is. All right. So, grab this baby back. There it is. Alright, let's grab this baby back. And bananas! So many. <laughs> Hang on. One more. There we go. So those things are gonna get a bit... Those work things are gonna get a bit difficult. Okay, so I have an idea. So we're gonna drop. I can't believe nobody's actually fucking looking up. Nobody's... Nobody's saying, oh shit, there he is up there. Nobody. Nobody. What fucking idiots. Oh my god. Okay, so now we know the exit point. So we just need to toss this baby. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, uh, not a good idea to do that. I just, yep, yep, okay. Hi. Alright, if you really want to start... Kill me. <laughs> Beware, fool. Yeah, that, that was foolish of me. That was pretty fucking foolish, you know? I was thinking of, like, trying to, like... What I was thinking of doing was, like, trying to, like, toss it and then go down and then grab it again and, like, just keep going. <laughs> But I didn't think he would actually take it back, you know? <laughs> I didn't think he would actually do that. I was like, okay, I didn't actually think he would do that. I actually legit think that I actually legit did not think he would do that. 
I, I really didn't. I, I just I just thought he was just gonna like I thought he was gonna be a stupid AI or some shit, but not apparently apparently not. Apparently he's smart enough to grab it. Okay. I thought it was just only bananas. Oh well I guess I'm stupid, you know. Whatever. Butter. So apparently that doesn't insta kill, but the other does. It's possible. So yeah, if you're gonna complain about it, it's it's very possible. You can just do that. You can just like you can either sneak up or just do that and straight up they'll just For what it is it works. <laughs> you could do that too, but it's more risky. <laughs> if you want, you could do that too. It's very risky. It's a very risky move, but if you wanna do it, it's completely up to you. That's one way, I guess. I was just planning on sneaking by, but... Oh, well. Works for what it is. Could it be the treasures? Oh, that's fair. We found the first. Uh, did you really go in there and grab that or you stole it? Yeah, you really did. It's fine that surely you're chasing down the end of time. <laughs> Bro. And. Yep. Boop. Well, that worked. <laughs> well, that method worked, I guess. It's not really much of a method. It's more just going in and just grabbing shit, but... Oh my god, dude. Mario, what the fuck? Mario, come back here. Come back here, little man. Come back here, Mario. Mario, come here! Oh my god, dude. Mario, come here! Come here, so I could've fixed you. Fix your diaper. Come here, it's kind of loosey. Mario! Go, go. What's up with you, little man? What's up with you, tiny boy? Inside the box. Oh my god. Okay, we have one of these again. Great. Alright, let's check this out. Okay, so... Check what's inside the box, and you have to check how many of each color there is inside. Yeah, it's kind of insane, but you have to kind of check. I'm gonna get my notebook so I can write this down. <laughs> Alright, let me write this shit down real quick. Thank you. So it'll be important, so you can remember this. It's very important. Yeah, dude, this is one of these. It's, you know, it's kind of like, oh, how many of these are in there, basically? But you have to get it completely right instead of, like, an like, estimated guess. You have to get it right. <laughs> it's 
basically that, but like a different. Okay, so let's see what we got. So we got. Let's see, we got. So far, I see two green. So far, what I see is. I see two green. So let me write that down. Two green. Two green? That's all I see. There's yeah, there's two. Yeah, there's only two green. Uh let's see what we got. Stupid coob. Hmm. Then we got one, two. We got one, two, three, four of purple. Purple pink. Purple pinkish. Four of purple pink. Mostly purple. Four of purple. Four purple. So it's kind of like a code again, you know, like I said. So four, two, so far. That's two. Two green, four purple. One, two, three, four. Yep, four. And then there's one pink. One pink. And let's see what else. There's like two of regular old metal balls. Yeah, like two regular metal balls. Yeah, two. Actually, no, it's three. Yeah, it's three, actually. Yeah, it's three. So then three, three metal balls. Four, two, one, three. <laughs> so in a nutshell, there we go. So, all right, so far we got, okay, so we got one pink. Green, two, four purple, an orange, oh, how many of there are orange again? Two. Yeah, two orange. Two orange and two green. Like more orange, so I'm wrong on the two. It's one, two. I'm thinking one, two, three. So far, I see one, two. I see two, that's for sure. So two. Actually, it's like three. I'm seeing three. So I'm seeing three right now. Three orange. Manu, come back here. What are you doing? So one, two. I'm only seeing two now, actually, so it's two. 
Mario, come back here. Mario, what are you doing? Come here. Mario. So I'm putting two. I'm not sure if this is right, but we're going to put two. Oh, it was right. So there we go. Mario, come, come here, boy. And then as for the regular metal, three. So regular metal, three balls. And then as for the regular. So it's three. Oh, let me guess, I'm not to take it out now, am I, with the fucking apparatus? Fine, I'm gonna apparatus up my ass. Alright, let's go for it. Okay, fine. Jeez, alright. Somehow we can win. So there's like, yeah, there's three. Yeah, so there's like three metal. It's three. Where's the ball? So it's three. For this one, the answer is three. But where the fuck is the ball that I need? Wait a minute. Yeah, there's a... Yeah, there's a... Yeah, I see now. Okay, I see. I see there's something. So yeah, I knew it. You're supposed to take out, like, a big ball out of there. How did I know that? I fucking knew it. Yeah. So just like... Do that. And then take this boy in. Come on, pull it up. You gotta pull it. Woo! Some big balls in here. For the metal ball, it's three. Answer three. There we go. So four, two, one, three, two. Or if you want to get, so yeah, it's just like put it. In code number. Are you kidding me? A fire spell? Okay, whatever. Fine. If you really want this bet. Mario, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna put her both to trial three. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> My controller. Alright. I'm gonna put it in. Alright, let me do that. So. Bosa trial. Trial three. So I tried to like, um, so I wrote them down, so if you need to know, there we go. Nice, so I wrote that down. For future reference. Okay, so now, Back to the boys. Coquito! You happy boy? Mm -hmm. You're cute. Mario. And you're ugly. Cute. Alright. Oh, sweet god. There will be something here for... Nintendo Switch shirt, because it's an obligation. Yeah, I do. Mm, 
るよ行こうかチェダワンフルパチェスディヴァインビースのネームはガッドスハイリーオフェディストライアルインエクシェンジフォンのボーダスエンブレムズユウィルビグランテルシェンスとトレッドルローンメモリーズ Those who lack determination will find his trial and forgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss this merely will within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. All right. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna suffer. All right. <laughs> Here we go, this nightmare of a boss fight. This nightmare. This goddamn nightmare of a fucking boss fight that is. Thunder. Thunder Blight. We're gonna suffer in here. <laughs> oh! Oh, I remember you. The illusory realm was created from the depths of your mind. The enemy is shell face is a product of the fear those of you must overcome the spirit to proceed. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off with this. Hello! It's been a while, hasn't it, Thunderblade? It's been some time, hasn't it? Oh! God, I hate you. Alright, Legendary Realm. Thunder Blight Ganon.
Oh, sweet guys. I'm gonna suffer here with you. Oh! Oh god, okay, final bluff. Get out of here, bitch! God, I hate this. God, I hate Thunderblade. <laughs> really, no, I've always hated him. God. I was surprised I didn't die once. In this version. Compared to the, compared to the, the you know, the actual fight that we did before. This one was honestly not that bad, like. <laughs> Right, Mario? Hi, baby. Oh, baby face you have. Oh, Mario. Whoa. Perhaps meeting you here is no coincidence. It's a perfect spot for you to get lost in your thoughts, so a perfect spot to write a song. I'm wondering around you're listening to the antidotes of champion Arbosa, truly. Whoa. In fact, inspired me to honor her in a way. Separated from the teachers of her song. So I felt inclined to rest here, near the divine beast Vandaboris, which Arbosa herself mastered. Mm. I ran a song. Tried to capture the essence of the champion, champion Arbosa. Condaboris, champion of sand. Before she was lost to the land. She for both says heart was strong. So the princess came along. We're gonna have a cutscene, so I'm gonna turn up the mic. Princess of Hyrule. I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> For our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Hmm. 
Though she was a fierce warrior, the British chief was also a loving friend to Hyrule's princess. Mm. So, what do you think of Champion Herbosa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of Champion Herbosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I feel much more confident I can with missing lyrics justice. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Herbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. We got an upgrade to Herbosa's Fury. So now it's faster. Regeneration. All right. All right, so that's Herbosa's part. And of course we're gonna have the blood moon. I can tell because of the um <clears throat> I can honestly just tell. Yeah, let's do a little like a side quest. Mighty, can you please just stop licking me, you little bitch? Yep, I knew it. Urbosa's fury is ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up here to heart shaped lake. Hey, Mario. Hey, hey, Kuka, what's up? What are you doing? Tavasava. I mean, it could be a bone dust in the beat. Huh. No, 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 thanks. So, but then this final legend is another freak mm. that is true luck. You had all this years of change, you know what I'm saying? Could be. Talk to this guy. Oh la la. Hey, I've tried to work out the courage to talk to you. Still leave me, yeah? No problem. <laughs> no bridal time! That's so funny. It's funny. Uh. I'm so glad. Oh, by the way, my name is Wobbin. Mm. To be honest, I lost my way earlier. Close eyes for a minute and open up. It's the most beautiful one I've ever seen was standing Aww. before me. First of all, I was dreaming where she was a ghost or something. And it's not every day you run into a gorgeous woman in the middle of nowhere. Mm. It's like my imagination now, the first sight. So I got my courage to confess my feelings to her. So I long ago, we made a girl like James Blue Nightshade, confess my love. I had Blue Nightshade straight over that woman. I mean, Blue Nightshade. Uh. It's beautiful, sweet, don't you think? Mm. I have one. Wait, do you have one? I'd say so. Here. Mm. Thank you! So perfect, exactly what I needed. Ooh la la! Oh. Uh, it's just, uh, when I look at her, my legs freeze up, my throat goes dry, I can't do it! Just give the gift to me. Uh, sure. Uh. Thank you! Give me back the blue uh. nightshade. Mm. What a good adventure to make friends for me. Am I in the right place? Oh. What's this? Okay, from that guy. I see, so you're delivering these flowers to the boat there. Mm. Oh, so this is the seat from you. Huh? Here's anyone who gave me the flowers. <gasps> Nick, I'm sorry! Oh. Could have made it, you don't like blue nightshade? Huh? Why would you say that? It's my favorite kind of flower. How did you know that anyway? Are you eager spy? Uh. No, 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 that's not it! Blue nightshade just happens to be my favorite flower. Long ago, I decided to truly love, love this mm. flower. True love? So that's what they call destiny. You're the vote of destiny chosen to me. Alright, go ahead and speak your piece. Oh. What do you mean? 
No, that's not right at all. Uh, you're talking about both sets to Vi. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you know, something like, I like you, or please go out with me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sure, you're asking directly, and possibly saying no. Uh, what? Uh, Why did she hear that? like these when she wants to go out. This first time everyone said that, like, like me, it's come from one of my dreams, an amazing feeling when I was born in this world. So no way I can truly thank you. Please take took my thanks. Uh, what the is that? If you're willing to offer him everything he's done for you? No, of course not. Here's what I'm going to give you. Oh, thank you. Okay, now better. Much better. Yeah, me. I was going to say the same thing. Thank you. <laughs> hey, you. I guess I hope you have a luck finding us. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so we did that. So the gift of my shade is done. Right, Mario? Mario's my boy that's just right here chilling with me. Guess he's a chiller. Okay, there we go. So we finally got the frost spear. Mario. Hey, boy. Alright, so let's go ahead and give the kid his freaking, uh... Frost spear. Okay, kid. Okay. Here's your frost spear. Here. Hey! Oh, oh, is that frost spear? So cool, let me see. Here. Wow! 
a real thing. I gotta tell Grandpa about this one. Here's so it's... No worries. Grandpa only give it to the person who had a fight. Next one is um, uh, got it. Ancient short sword. Here's the place to get it. So I know what, I'm, what that one is. Damn, I'm trying to do some side quests so I could do them. Trying to do that. Right, Mario? 75 quarks out of 900! <laughs> I only have 75 out of quarks. Quarks has fucking 900 of these. Here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna. Woo! Beep beep, familiar name missing. It's a short sword. Make exchange. Thank you. Familiar name missing. Come again! Mariocito. Donde esta Mario? Right here. The little boyo. Where's my boy Mario? This time we're gonna go over to like the roots. We're gonna go over to Death Mountain, so we're gonna do next, but anyway. Let's complete this side quest, shall we? I got it. Huh? That was Asia's short sword, isn't it? Sure, here. Here's so good, thanks. Oh, Grandpa, I always give it to the ones who just don't worry about it. Nice. So that was finished. Whew, that one's done with. Then we have the rush room rush, which we have to do the rush. The rush room. And then our next one. Is going to be it's going to be the road to respect in Death Mountain. Hi, Mario. That's my boy. Hmm? <laughs> How are you? Mario. Give me a baby boy. Has a distinguished Goron Arch to Master Rowan. You need something? Who's Rowan? Because Rowan has a good advice for the community that she wants to watch. She has a trick of everyone being included. In that case, I'm going to use Rowan going to use part of my training. As you can tell, it's said to ruin your lake. Hey, about that place. The red's respect. Mario. 
So let's go to Jirinia Lake. I'm sort of gonna fight the, the Talus. See, I'm checking all the side quests that I have finished, and all of those I didn't, so I'm just checking here. But respect is one of them. Did I do the one with the trade? The jewel trade? Yeah, I did. I love how it's shaped like a crab. My, one of my favorite things is how this island is shaped like a crab. I love that. It's like, it feels like very, very close to shaped like a crab. Bonk! over here. I love how the island is shaped like a crab. What island name is that called again? It says Island of Rabak. <laughs> like really though. I love that. It's just an island. Shaped like a crab, and we have a Korok here. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Thank you. Alright. We're here. Here we go. Let's go ahead and fight this, and then we can get to that side quest out of the way. Because we have a few left. And a Russian rush one, I need to get more rush rooms. I keep forgetting about that. It's just I don't have enough. How many rushes fall? Let me see how many rushes do I have speaking of. 34. I'm gonna be here for a while. But alright. Hello. Alright. Here we go. Got it. Need something? I beat it. What you did? Sure. <laughs> thanks, thanks so much, Sylvester Dallas. Alright, we got it. Nice. The island's done. Yeah, we have the Trial of Sword, which is a side quest again. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> he goes, oh shit! <laughs> it's so funny, dude. That is so funny, I can't help it. Alright. So then... Let's see where we can go next for our next one. Hmm. I want to know what happens when we bring a horse here. 
No, you can't. <laughs> I just wanted to know with the with the uh, ancient armor. I just wanted to know if that was possible. I just wanted to know if it was possible. See, so our next side quest is going to be is going to be in a bank of wishes in the neighbor region. So we're gonna have to go to the Bank of Wishes, which we'll have to see if he finds. Which is like on the way to Zora Domain. It's like on the way there. Yeah, right here. So it's like on the way to Zora Domain. So our best way to get from there is from here. So let's go over there. That's gonna be our next side quest, and, and our last one for this episode, and our last one that we're gonna do for this episode. And I don't know about the other ones that I'm missing. I'm gonna try to check that out off screen. I'm gonna try to check out which ones I'm missing. So I'm gonna check that out later. But yeah, next one. Right, Mario? Yeah, Tiny Man. Tiny Man. Yeah, right here. Find him. Carry my thoughts to him. Do you have a wish for the fair water fairy? Toast of us now, if you do, so let us see. But wait, you need your servant to the water fairy? That's right. Quite possibly, please don't make fun of me just because of a cute girl. You're a traveler that's looking for me. Oh, in that case, I have a fun request for you. And once I release it, I'd like to follow my love letter to get to know whoever it picks up. Once you get it, please report back to me so you can find out the kind of person he is. I know you're probably thinking, why not just go yourself, lazy girl? I'm right, aren't I? Thing is, I promised my mother I wouldn't venture out too far. So I'm begging you, please find the person who picks up, okay? Fine. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Excellent. Are you gonna throw the letter in? Are you ready? Okay. This letter co a container breaks easily, so be careful. Okay, so now we just have to follow it. So basically, we'd have to do like an escort mission for this for this piece of paper. So you basically have to do an escort mission <laughs> for this. We have to do an escort mission, basically. So here we go. All right, let's go ahead and so basically, we have to go to Mary Island. Oh shit. Uh oh, it's stuck. Okay, never mind. Okay, good. So let's just wait for it to move. So we're just gonna let it kind of do its thing while we follow it to so make sure it gets home, it gets there safely. So we have to make sure it gets there. Oh shit! Ah! Good. So there we go. Let's go down. So it's gonna take a little bit. It's gonna be all the way over to this island. All the way over here. So you're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna be here for a while with this one. Alright, let's wait for it. Oh, I have an idea. I could do that, but to make it faster, but that'd be kind of risky though. Anyway. Let's just wait for it to do its thing.
Wait, oh, where? Oh, hi. Get out of here. I'll wait for the paper to arrive. Alright, good thing that the paper is doing pretty good so far. The letter. So pick it up, toss it back into the flow. There we go. Well. The roots protection is now ready to roll. What the fuck what am I doing? Okay. Let's see how this letter goes. Where did it go? Oh, shit! Okay. Woo! Okay, we're here in the bridge. Oh, boy. So we have to make it- it has to make it over here. And, of course, it's the blending. What do I know? I don't care about the blood moon Zelda. Get out of here. Thanks, asshole. Mario, come here. Oh, hello. <gasps> God. There it is. Okay, good. Get out of here.
idea. All right, it's almost there. God, God. Get it over there. <gasps> Ooh. And of course. Okay, you know what? Fine. Just stupid, like, letters and lettering, god damn. Okay, there it's good. We're really doing this. <laughs> We're really doing this. All right. It's almost there. And. This is a guy. So we'll see. There it is. All right, it made it. <laughs> nice. Mm. Sorry for the random question, but have you made it to me? Yes. Mm. I see. Sorry for here. It's a long ways. Mm. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Huh? I'm, I'm Sasan, a traveling merchant. I was waiting to Zora's domain, but a love letter in English caught my eye. The writer seems to be a lovely Zora named Finley. So we corresponding with her by giving her advice to travel to Zora's mm -hmm. domain. So you're following his letter? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she asked you to come down here and kind of person I am. Is that it? Well, earlier I lied and wrote her as a buff traveler. She said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm really blown and I don't know what happened before I lied. Love reigns supreme. Love reigns supreme. <laughs> I suppose it does. You know, hearing that makes it a little better. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's time to take a chance trying to meet her. She never reminds me. I wonder if a tour into arena stopped. She's playing as Zora's domain as the other says. Actually, two goes at the same time, but I ran my muscle way up there. I also get super beefy. 
That's the ticket. I'll run about to the domain. Catch you later. Meet again towards the domain. I'm sure of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to them and see how it's going. I, I believe this is actually the one that we're talking, the one that I was talking about before, like the one where it's like some people be like, oh, it's kind of weird, or like oh, like you know, a super young kid Zoran, like a, a grown adult finally. And yeah, I can see why people think that's weird, but if I'm gonna be honest, though, like I've seen age gap couples. How my parents have slight age gap, probably eight years, eight, an year, an eight, almost eight, a seven and a half year age gap. So if I'm gonna be honest, though, like it's just. It's obviously not that weird. <laughs> like, to me, like, massive age gaps, yes, it is weird, but, like, small age gaps like that don't really matter to me, to be honest. And Zora's also know that, you know, but, again, this is a big one, so I can understand why it's weird. Let's see, where are they again? I should be here somewhere in Zora's domain, that's for sure, but where, I, I forgot. Yeah, here, there they are. <laughs> Teehee! <laughs> oh, it's you! Hey, Sasan, this is the guy who made the letter reach safely. Oh, it's you! As you can see, I saw how major source domain. Thanks to you, I managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley at last, is how I see it. <laughs> thank you so introducing me to my soulmate. Sasan, that's Gustin. We decided we just had to thank you for the next time we saw you. So here, this is for both of us. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Sasan, be sure to swim and climb up and lift a lot. You help you build those muscles you promised. Uh. As you wish, my darling. I'll try this. It is a bit weird. What I will say, it is very weird. That's what I will say. I mean, it does look like a child and a, and a grown adult. It does, but if you actually think about it, Zora's are long live. Zora's lived for a very long time when you think about it. So you know, it's like Zora's lived much longer than Hylians. Hylians also lived for like a long time too, but Zora's lived even longer. So you think about it, it's not that odd, but it still is. On some tiny mountain, there are a bunch of animals. Sasan, you're so dreamy. Please find more stories about your travel adventures. <laughs> oh god. Well, yeah, this is where people get kind of ugh, drawn away. I can understand, but like, you know, but still. But anyway, that's that side quest out of the way. As for the next one, we have restroom rush. I need to get some restrooms. So anyway, I'm a, well, I'm gonna go ahead and grind some restrooms off screen. So anyway, I hope you guys the video. Please subscribe, whatever. Next, we're gonna go ahead and try to do uh, Daruk's. We're gonna, we're gonna do Daruk's part. So we're gonna do the song, you know. Champion song Drooks, and we're gonna do that. So, yeah, see you guys then.